Good Sunday morning. I'm Hugh Keaton in for Dave Elliott this week when we start with the countdown to the general election. It's coming up quickly on November 5th and joining us now with his insight to the upcoming election. Mississippi Secretary of State Michael Watson. Thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, first of all, I want to touch on this. Uh, the state election office got a suspicious package uh, sent to it this week. I know there were some other similar packages sent to other voting offices around the country. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so Hugh, thank you, number one, for having me on. Number two, I believe the last count was up to about eight states, and we've seen this happen in elections uh, building up to this year, uh, but prior as well. It's unfortunate. There's no place in, in politics and elections for that. Uh, you know, we also have seen two assassination attempts on the lead candidate uh, for the Republican Party. So it, it's unfortunate that we see that type of, uh, I guess, activity across our country where folks are, are just uh, so, um, I guess, get caught up in this toxified political world uh, and it's unfortunate uh, we should all have a good clean fair elections and democracy counts on that and so there's no place for threatening election officials uh, nor poll workers nor candidates themselves uh, this should be a place where uh, elections are friggin fair and people enjoy getting and paying attention to what's going on in the process as well as engaging and going to vote so uh, unfortunately uh, that's not taking place and thankfully uh, that came back as a negative test so uh, there were no chemicals or what, what you want to, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, that were in that package. It was uh, actually safe. Um, I'm glad to hear that. So, but there was a concern that it might have been uh, something dangerous in the package? Yeah, the, the first state that got it uh, had some tests run and, and it came back as sugar. I've, I've not heard what ours came back as yet, but we were told it was not anything that was poisonous or dangerous. So uh, thank the Lord for that. Yes, indeed. And uh, as uh, we come up on the election, uh, there's an aggressive effort to get as many people registered to vote as possible. I know you're going across the state talking, taking part in these uh, voter drives. And what's the response been over the last few weeks? Are people interested in getting registered this year? Yeah, look, the last one we were at, I was in Starkville, uh, MSU. We did one for the athletes up there. And uh, just seeing the line of individuals coming to register to vote uh, made me smile uh, really big and was happy to see them engaging in the process. Uh, it's our voter registration road trip series. Uh, we've gone all over the state. Uh, we've got some more coming up. We'll be in Millsaps, Murrah High School, uh, Delta State, several others. But uh, really proud of the idea that we can share with folks that, you know, it's important to go register to vote. And we can get into these schools. Our ambassadors program is another one. All of our, our senior high school ambassadors, we have about 70 of those. We'll do voter registration drives in our high schools. Really important to us to get everybody in the process. Uh, we've helped to register over 310,000 uh, new voters here in Mississippi since I've been in office. And that's something that we're proud of and we'll continue to do. And, so our registration road trip is something that's really important to us. 310,000, that's a huge number over the last several years you've been in office. And what was the deadline uh, to register to vote? Yeah, so this year the deadline is October 7th. And I encourage folks to understand that is the deadline to register to vote to participate in this election. There's never a deadline to register to vote. So I hope all people will come out and register anytime they have the chance. Uh, but again, to, to vote in this election, October 7th is the deadline. And just another really important date to throw out, September 23rd, which is this coming week, is uh, when absentee balloting in person will start. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and make plans, if you can't be around on election day, or look at one of the other reasons that you can vote absentee in person here in Mississippi, you can find those on yallvote.ms. Uh, but I encourage you to make your plans. A really important election in, in the future of our history. So uh, don't let that sneak up on you. Uh, election Day, obviously, as we all know, is November 5th, and that'll be here before you know it. Uh, so if you're not going to be in town and there's some other issues that you need to take a look at on yallvote.ms, that will allow you to vote absentee in person. That will start on September 23rd this coming week. So be prepared for election this year. Yeah, big dates coming up there. And I do want to ask you, uh, there is a proper way to register to vote. Uh, I know that we see a lot of things on Facebook that you can click on and other platforms where you may uh, get something in the mail uh, saying that you can register to vote. But you have to be careful about uh, what you're filling out. You really do. Look, we saw some earlier this year. Matter of fact, just a month ago, I was visiting with a circuit clerk in North Mississippi, and there was a group out of Chicago that was sending in pre-filled uh, voter registration forms. Uh, and, and who knows where that information came from? Who knows how they got that? Who knows how they found those individuals? But uh, I encourage folks, uh, and, and even at a higher level than this, make sure you're getting trusted information. If you receive some type of form in the mail and you're not sure about it, call your circuit clerk. 
call our office, call your elections commissioners, make sure you're talking to the election officials to understand if you're getting good information or not. Really easy to register to vote. Obviously your circuit clerk's office, your municipal clerk's office, uh, DHS, DMV. Uh, you can download the form on our website and mail it in. So a lot of easy ways to register to vote, but make sure, like you said, uh, that you're doing it properly and if you have questions please feel free to call us looking at a sample ballot and sample ballots are available in counties across the state uh, in the presidential election the wording there uh, might be a little different or surprising when you get to the polls uh, the wording on uh, each candidate selection is presidential electors presidential electors for kamala harris presidential electors for donald trump and the other candidates uh, is that wording always been there or is that different uh, this year yeah, so it's, we have a lot of questions about that. That's by statute, uh, by the law here in Mississippi. The State Board of Election Commissioners uh, votes on the sample ballot. And uh, just for people who may be you know, confused about it, uh, basically, if a party has a primary, those candidates will be listed first in alphabetical order. So that's why you'll see some folks have said, well, it's not in alphabetical order. Well, it is. The parties that have primaries are first, and then the independent candidates are second. They're also listed by alphabetical order. So that's that's the confusion that's out there. But yes, we always vote on electors for the president, uh, not the president himself or herself. So that's a little civics lesson right there for the process of the electoral college. Uh, when you are looking at uh, this presidential election coming up, uh, usually the presidential election brings out uh, the most voters. Uh, four years ago, how many people came to the polls in Mississippi? Do you remember? I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, but it, it is typically the largest turnout in the state, uh, which is a good thing. And uh, we've got about 1.9 million uh, registered uh, voters here in Mississippi, which is a, a, you know, another good number. Uh, so I hope all of them, uh, if they can get out to vote, it'd be a great turnout for Mississippi and history uh, records would, would be obviously filled uh, on a great turnout. So I encourage every Mississippian, look, even if you don't like the candidates, there's gotta be an issue out there that speaks to you. And if not that, uh, take a chance to go vote, uh, educate yourself, think about the men and women who fought, who, who gave all that they had, that you would have this right. So please don't take that for granted. Love that we did our Vote for a Veteran uh, program this year with Mississippi Veteran Association. Uh, so that's another thing that we're doing, making sure that people go vote in honor of a veteran. Uh, there's so many reasons to go vote, but make sure that you educate yourself and get prepared and get out there and cast your ballot. From what you can tell, can you anticipate what the voter turnout's gonna look like? Not yet, and that's really hard. Uh, look, we've seen sometimes where absentee numbers were, were high uh, before the, the vote, and the vote that came on election day was a little bit low. Sometimes we've seen the absentee numbers were low and election day was high. So it's really hard to project, but again, I just hope everyone's paying attention and understands the, the gravity of the situation in our country right now, and then we'll go out and have their voices heard. Are there any changes in the uh, election technology this year in the state as far as how you will go to the polls and vote? Anything changes there this year? Not really. I think everybody that went out and voted in the primary will see the same uh, setup. I will say some folks that may have skipped the primary, all 82 counties now will have the machines where you have paper verifiable trails, which I think are really important. You have a question about a machine? I get it. Well, you know what? We've got paper verifiable trails now to make sure that if there's any questions, we can go back and look at that ballot itself, count those ballots, and that's what's going to win the day. So all 82 counties will have that this year. We're really proud of that and appreciate the legislature moving in that direction. All right, Secretary of State Michael Watson, thank you for joining us this morning. And we have absentee voting starting later this week. That's right. Thank you, sir.